Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I really hope ladies and gentlemen a lot of you guys are enjoying the bearish side of the market. We were anticipating the bearish side in the stock market, in the US indices, in Nifty, in uh, FTSE, in DAX, in gold and silver, in Forex as well. So I hope that a lot of you guys have seen the previous analysis, a series of analysis, and then you have been anticipating the bearish side of it, and then you were able to take benefit of it. Now, analysis is one thing, and trading is another thing. I mean, you don't simply go on bearish side when the bottom is very close on to it. We would rather wait for a pullback. So, please understand that this series of video that I uh, present on YouTube is for educational purposes if you decide to, to take that on that's on you it, I will not absolutely take even a teeny tiny bit um, responsibility for your profits or losses if you do you uh, decide to use these as your trading tool uh, go ahead and make this necessary to use financial management understand that you have to uh, divide your portfolio in a lot number of sections before you can decide uh, that okay you want to put certain part of your money into a particular trade anyway uh, a lot of talking in today's video we are going to discuss gold silver and platinum we'll see where exactly the prices are looking at it uh, I have given a forecast regarding the time analysis and we will discuss both the forecast uh, the one that's passed and the one that we are expecting in uh, gold silver and platinum so it's pretty interesting video if you are wondering that uh, have you missed the market don't worry there is still a lot to go in the market especially in gold silver and platinum and we'll discuss it right from over here the chart in front of you is just gives you a glimpse of what we are supposed to be expecting and there is more uh, I was able to do some more research on the data that we have it takes a lot of work to do the analysis and uh, the way that I do okay I simply just do not put the numbers on it I run the data through different tests and then I realize okay what's happening so let's have a look for uh, what's happening you know, on a larger time frame this is the weekly time frame for gold in front of you I am absolutely bearish right from the top all the way down right over here the only problem is where do these smaller wave end up and where do uh, we, uh, they are going to so this is uh, a glimpse of what I'm expecting right so wave one blue wave two wave three blue wave four and then wave five that would be completing uh, in my previous analysis i've given a forecast that we are to see a major major bottom expecting in 17th of october please turn that to a midterm bottom not a major bottom we are expecting that to be a mid-term bottom now that means that that would be probably completing our wave three and then we will go high and complete uh, the high in February 2023 I was expecting two possibilities that when gold goes up it whether go over here or will go all the way over here now I have um, a higher confirmed data that we will be going over here instead of going all the over here since we do not jump all the way over here in that area that makes this is a minor bo or midterm bottom not a minor a midterm bottom we will go up for a few months and then we'll slide down so the dates here are after research I'm expecting still a bearish uh, outlook till 17th of October and after that I'm expecting a rally in gold for good two three months four months you can say and then I will turn bearish again so that gives you quite an interesting view of wave 1 and wave 2 wave 3 and wave 4 and wave 5 since we already are going through a structure that actually started from all the way over here that actually give us indication that we are probably completing a three wave structure a three wave structure that topped over here and a five wave structure right from the top wave one two three four and five making the whole structure as an expanded flat because we have created a new high right over here let's dig deeper um, to see smaller time frame analysis and see what are you expecting let's go for a four hourly time frame <coughs> excuse me for that so within the four hour time frame a simple way to trade if you want to the uh, if you want to trade without any headache a very very simple way is to look at the 5 wave structure we have wave 1 and 2 this this red one we have 3 and wave 4 so you can put your stop loss right over here and you still have quite a bit 
to go right over here to the bottom somewhere around expecting uh, just above the previous uh, top okay so we're expecting this and the top to be formed of three just above this structure this structure that you guys seeing is very important structure and then we're expecting our top to be formed just above that we have also another structure right over here the uh, bottom area of this structure is also important so we have quite a bit to go if you are uh, interested in taking that trade putting your stop loss and then going to sign over here simple is that we are bearish from the over here let's have a look at a fo further uh, interesting opportunity we have uh, flags right over here we can clearly see a flag pattern right over here we have another bearish look another flag pattern right over here another bearish movement and a flag pattern right over here you want to bear bearish uh, ignore this one and put your stop loss just behind that one if you do not want to put your stop loss behind that one and then go be bearish till 17th of October a very interesting way to trade you want to be a little more tight in your stop loss you can put your stop loss right behind this one right over here and be bearish do understand that market would go through corrections all right simple is that market would go through th corrections the major trend in gold and silver stays bearish so in order to do get some profits trade small and aim for good two three weeks for the trade to run up this is my method how you want to trade is up to you uh, but this is what i'm going through right now now i did give an analysis that you were expecting a top to be formed right over here this one instead what we have seen that we were in a kind of a, a zigzag pattern and then we have completed that pattern and then gone so you can easily say that the top that i called went wrong definitely we have created a top that was good maybe one day late in it all right so you can um, give me an indication that okay my top was not actually exactly on that date it was expected to be on um, 19th instead the, the one right over here is on 20th and this one happened on 21st so you can say the two days lost in that case it does not actually work it did not work the exact date uh, the the date on the bearish side is still uh, positive I'm still looking for a bottom to be formed a midterm bottom to be formed on the date that I have given you guys which is uh, October which where exactly is it? 17th of October right over here so on the daily time frame it will come close so I'm still bearish on gold I'm still bearish on silver and platinum nothing has changed the only thing is that you're expecting a top to be formed on 19th of September instead it occurred to be on 21st of September so pretty interesting I'm still bearish on it on gold and silver and I've already shown you the large term and the small time frame analysis on gold let's have a look on silver now silver is very interesting we can see uh, bearish I'm expecting for silver to be hitting somewhere around 1375 14 dollar on midterm and then we are to see some good rally all right so I'm still bearish on silver nothing has changed once the prices hit here we expected to see a good rally in silver let's have a look uh, on a smaller time frame analysis the smaller time frame analysis in front of you is completely technical I have not applied Elliott wave uh, analysis on it but you can already look at it uh, we have two trend lines with us the one that we have drawn first of all is uh, the one that this top one is pretty interesting this drop line trend line combining this and this top exactly got hit right over here too if you want you can definitely combine these ones right over here but that is much wider so if let's make uh, let's see if we can actually make this trend line this is much wider the other possibility is we can use this top to create trend lines once again that actually uh, did not work we can use this one right over here this one right over here didn't work and this one so it's up to you um, I think that is not a good one from the top all the way so I have used this trend line starting from this top to this thought to this bar uh, this top which is working fine so far so we'll keep on doing that let's have a look on a four hourly time hourly time frame right over here so the inner trend line this one is outer trend line and this is the inner trend line the inner trend line is contains four points right over here starting from this point to this point this point and this point we have clearly seen a break of the inner trend line right now we are sitting on top of the outer, outer trend line so I am giving my indication that we have reflected from the top we have broken this one I'm clearly bearish I went bearish on gold and silver I have positions open on both of them gold and silver 
so I'm expecting that next couple of days on a smaller time frame uh, we'll just look at it into gold as well on a smaller time frame there is a good possibility you might be looking since we have broken this uh, time uh, this uh, trend line could we go in all the over here I don't think so uh, because we have already seen quite a bit of bearish move in platinum but we haven't seen that move in gold and silver let's have a look at platinum I'm talking about this move we've seen strong bearish move in platinum although we have seen bearish price action in in go uh, silver and we have seen bearish price action in gold it was nowhere as stronger as we have seen in platinum so I'm expecting there is still a lot more to go in uh, gold and silver immediately I'm expecting maybe next a day and a half next couple of days are to be bearish in gold and silver and then we will shall see some pullback right over here so I'm bearish on silver right over here I'm right now expecting that once we create that bottom right over here probably a double bottom with this one there's a good possibility of a pullback so do understand this is uh, this is a general reading of the market this is not trend uh, this is not signals something this is just an expectancy of a behavior so that if I want to add on to a position I would not do right over here I would wait for the prices to create a drop and then wait for a pullback in that case I'm going to use that information to join into the trend so do you do you gotta understand where the the signal is coming from we are bearish right from the top this is the signal and we are this is the signal when we have uh, the prices have reflected from the top and then we have broken a support that's a signal right from over here this is the general behavior of the market so this is what I, I'm expecting. I'm expecting next couple of days to be bearish in gold and silver and then a good pullback um, uh, to join the trend. I'm not expecting for the prices to go beyond that top or in gold and silver. In gold, I'm not expecting for the price to go beyond that top. If you want to be really conservative, I've already given you guys um, a proper way to trade. You can use this top and the previous top. It's up to you. That's your trading decision as a trader. So I'm gold. I'm silver. Um, I'm bearish on gold and silver. The bottom for uh, gold, that 17th of October, is still holds for silver as well. Let's have a look at platinum. Now platinum is much weaker. We are looking at platinum. Platinum is definitely, definitely much look, uh, weaker. We are expecting in the midterm uh, for platinum to draw from 860 right over here to 560, around the same time when gold and silver are going to bottom uh, in October. So I'm expecting I'm still bearish on gold and silver and I'm expecting that we are to see a similar behavior in platinum. On a smaller time frame, let's have a look on an hourly time frame and we can definitely see that we have seen quite a good movement and there's a good possibility that we are going to see further decline before we see a jump in in the price of platinum to give us a choice uh, a chance to join this can definitely push into a little deeper as well and we can join the trend over here or this can actually stay in this regard because we have a structure right over here too so it can easily stay in this region and it can easily use the previous structure which is right one this one over here to give us a uh, support coming for the bearish outlook so I think that we still have quite a bit of move on a, on a daily time frame on an hourly time frame for gold silver and platinum and uh, r once again a pullback is part of the game you simply markets cannot simply move in a straight line this is just against the nature of the market so we are bearish on gold silver and platinum till 17th of October how do you want to trade it take some lesson quick lesson or refresher on how you want to trade it and how much you want to risk on it always always use money management Traditionally, the professionals use 1%. Sometimes they've used 0.5% 0 0 of their portfolio to take a position. So if you are going 100% in uh, of your portfolio into a position and then you are uh, you kind of saying that, okay, you know, um, I did th see that video. After looking at that video, you need to do your own research. It's simple as that. Nobody on YouTube or on internet is going to take a full responsibility even if they are charging you a thousand dollar a month as well You have to do your own research as well. This is a big part of the trader uh, and you cannot you know You cannot ignore analysis part of the trading so it's, I hope that you understand the point wish you good luck with your trading and have a good one and bye-bye